So when we get to the door of the bus station, I say, dang, I ain't got my beeper. Let me, let me run back to the car and get my beeper. So Al go on in the bus station, and when I get back to the door of the bus station, I see five white boys in cowboy boots and hats. And they got Al surrounded. Go. Yeah. So wow. I take off running. I already know what it is. Yeah. And uh, that was my last time. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. <laughs> You told a story of um, having an ounce, went and go bought an ounce. The first, first time you bought an ounce with you and your partner, right? Yeah. Tell me that story, but I want something a little bit more. I want from you the last time you bought something. That's the first. I need the last time as well. That, tell me that story. And did you know it was going to be your last time? Hmm. The last time I bought some cocaine... Did you tell them, hey, I'm done with the game. I ain't buying no more. I'm done. Hmm, the last time, I think the last time that I bought some, my man Al got busted at the, at the bus station. Okay. Um, my, my normal connect, they, they was out of the country or something, and, and it was just before the first of the month, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to go to L.A., grab something, and then just shoot it back. So I flew to L.A., and... Um, I didn't get it from my normal connect. I got it from this white boy named Tom. And I hired a guy to get on the bus with him. It was only nine kilos, something small. Um, just enough to make like three or $400,000 mm. during the first of the month. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> and I put him on the bus. He got on the bus. And something happened. Somebody was smoking weed in New Mexico on the bus. So they pulled the bus over, brought the dog on. They found the coke. He jumped off the bus, but he never called and told me that. So he left the coke and everything. He left the coke, but the police found the coke. Right. So the police, apparently, they say they did, is they let the coke go on through to Cincinnati. And me and my boy Al, we go to the bus station to get him. And when we get to the bus station, I drop my beeper in the car. So when we get to the door of the bus station, I say, dang, I ain't got my beeper. Let me, let me run back to the car and get my beeper. So Al go on in the bus station. And when I get back to the door of the bus station, I see five white boys in cowboy boots and hats. And they got Al surrounded. Go. Yeah. So wow. I take off running. I already know what it is. Yeah. And uh, that was my last time. Um, yeah, that's the last shot. <clears throat> yeah. Last time. He was done. Old. Yeah. Wow. What? How long? So, and I hired now. I had I hired lawyers and everything. I had the best lawyers in Cincinnati to him for out. him to get him out, right. and he still wound up with twenty years. Damn. Wow. He still got twenty years. And he got twenty years for that, and he never touched the dope. Didn't know what the dope looked like. That's why you know when he went to court, I couldn't I couldn't understand it because uh, they was they, they the the cops lied in court. You know they said that. Yeah, I always do. They said that um, he asked for the bag. But he couldn't ask for the bag because he didn't know what the bag looked like. Right. Like, how could he ask for the bag? He was just riding with me. He wasn't uh, unless He probably would have picked the bag up, you know, when we got there if I would have said, that's the bag. Because I knew what the bag looked like because I gave the, the boy to get on the bus the bag. Yeah. Um, but I was looking for, for I can't even remember the dude's name because I never spoke to him after that either. Yeah, yeah, because he never called. But if the guy jumped off and ran, and he went up there looking for the dude, why they even capture him? They didn't know who was coming to look for the stuff. How Correct. did they know it was him? Well, you know, he was black. Yeah. You know, that's a good sign. And, then and the guy who jumped off and ran, he was black too? He was black too. Yeah. yeah. But they didn't see him. Yeah. They never saw him. They didn't know what he was, what he okay. looked like. Okay. You know, when the bag's under the bus, you know, you they don't, don't know. know they don't know who bag it mm. is. Uh um but you know with these cops, man, they just you know, they do what they want to do. And then when they even though we have fake ID, we have Cincinnati ID, but what they did is when they took him down and they ran him, they found out he was from LA. Mm, so what oh, you, you doing from down LA, here? the bag come from LA, cocaine come oh, from LA. They put it right together. Oh, okay. And then they also found out what neighborhood he was from. Oh, so you from that neighborhood, that's Rick Ross's neighborhood. So they call the freeway task force down and, you know, start a big wow. investigation. Mm. Wow. I- How long after that incident before they jumped on you and, and got you? 
Well, they was already they was looking for me. They told my lawyer that they they had a warrant out for me At that immediately. Point. Yeah, but they didn't catch me until about a year later. Mm. Wow, and and that and you knew and you knew that was that, that they were looking for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't know, but I, I had a good idea. I think Al may have, may have told me that they was asking about me. Um, but you know, it, it had got to a point in, in LA that anytime somebody got caught with cocaine, they asked about me. <laughs> you know, my name, my name would come up. So that wasn't unusual for them to be saying, you know, asking my name. But see, Al, we stayed really close to each other. You know, yeah, like yeah. he probably stayed on eighty seven. Street or 87 place. I mean, we stay like blocks away from each other. You know, we grew up. I've been knowing now since I was, you know, a little boy. Um, so uh, we we stay really close. So it was easy for them to, to you know, in L.A., they, they got like, say, for instance, if, if you're from a certain neighborhood, then they got certain pods for that neighborhood. Yeah. Because yeah. that gang goes in that neighborhood. So they kind of like. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? They just put you to your neighborhood. You know, yeah, yeah. this is Hoover, so you go on over here. So if somebody get arrested, they just put it all together. Oh, they from the same neighborhood, they same, so they same, from the same, same gang. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. that that type of uh, uh, a scenario is the way they do it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.